I finished another one. Welcome back! I have uh, another sketchbook for us. Uh, sketchbook 39. I don't know if you remember the last one, but uh, that's it was four months ago. That was four months ago. That's a little bit too long, but that's okay. Have it done, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Alright, so I'll show you most of the pages. There's a couple I can't show due to bean spoilers. That's my webcomic, but most of them I can. So the first page is my sticker page. I got a lot of stickers this semester. It, most of them were from the holiday sale that was back in December. Yeah, I got a lot of them from those ones. And here it is! Sketchbook 39. I started this back in November 10th and I finished it yesterday. Or yesterday as time of videoing this. I had, I had a couple goals I wanted to do. Uh, here, let me show you. I had a couple goals. I wanted to draw some more buildings, draw some objects, start filling up backgrounds with stuff. I do a lot of character art, so I wanted to like, try and practice drawing backgrounds with that are filled, filled with stuff. Plants, animals, and last one, figure drawings, because I do do a lot of people drawing, so it's not completely necessary for me to do a whole bunch of figure drawing, but a little bit still good. This one's fun. So at the beginning of every single Illustration 3 class, my teacher would have us do these prompts. Uh, and this one was, draw yourself as Batman. And I would have forgotten about the concept completely after doing it, if not for the fact that I had to draw... I, I, my teacher mentioned something about uh, like imagining a really buff Robin behind me, and then I got the idea that Robin was doing all of the work, and I was just going around being like, I'm Batman, and <laughs> Robin's actually the one that's intimidating people. I'm not doing anything. I'm just a figurehead. Ooh, these ones are fun. I um, designed a bunch of stickers, a bunch of stickers, some of them being like banjo possum and piano man. This guy has a popsicle. They turned out really cute and I can show a picture on the screen of what like the digital versions of these turned out being because I took a picture of them and then traced them on my computer. Uh, this is a whole mess of stuff. So this is a little crow design that I actually have on my desk that I turned into like this needle felt it figure which then turned into this little stuffed animal. He's weighted at the bottom, so he has nice heft to him. Uh, and then these are sketches for a painting that I wanted to make. I can show a picture on the screen of what that ended up looking like, but I was quite happy with it. This is the little character design I made for a little animation I posted uh, a couple months back now. It's called, uh, what was it called? Uh, sucked into a book. That's what it was. Sucked into a book. These are little bird sketches. I am quite fond of how I draw eyes right now, so I like wanted to include some of that. This is like money I made during the holiday sale. This this is fun. Here's some concept art or concept art character sketches of my me and Kira working on something. I I won't tell you what exactly it is, but uh these are the two main characters for it, Rita and Rose. You'll see a lot more work from this uh later. Here are some more sketches, just miscellaneous. And uh this is like little concept art for being small world. He's he's going through a rough time right now. I <laughs> I uh, sketched this because I've been drawing my character Maya. That's the character from the Lucid Dreaming animations that I've been posting. I've been drawing her a lot more, so I needed to like just practice drawing her. So I had fun with that. Here's some bean thumbnails. That won't be as con. That won't show up in the sketchbook a bunch. I start doing them digitally because it's much faster to do. Not as portable. 
and I do kind of miss the tactility of it, but it is much quicker. Here's some sketches for like a little TikTok video I made. Ooh, my, uh, I was at a restaurant and my sibling's uh, lemonade was looking pretty dang tasty, backlit by a candle, so I did a little color pencil sketch of that. Uh, oh, <laughs> this was a little floor plan for a gingerbread house, I can show a picture here, that I made with me and my friends. So, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, here are some thumbnail sketches of a little web, not web, uh, fan fiction, uh, fan cover I wanted to make. I can show a picture of what it ended up looking like once I get start. I do a bunch of thumbnail sketches, so I can show you later what it looks like. More of that, and then I realized that I was doing what I usually do in my sketchbook, and I wasn't doing what I had intended to do, so I sketched out some of the items on my desk. Yeah, so that's where I started with Illustration 4. So this means this is like the beginning of January. Some more house sketches. I just pull up pictures from Pinterest and I do my best to copy them because I don't draw a lot of houses, so uh, inventing them off the fly like my characters aren't isn't the same. Uh, here's a little page of Bean. I thought I was going to need a turnaround for him, so I uh, made a turnaround and then had him falling. <laughs> he's quite fun to draw. He's just so expressive and so tiny and he's all leg. He's all like, uh, you'll see these come up a little bit later, but here are like the first preliminary sketches or sketchy, uh, kind of finished kind of sketches, drawings of the characters for my picture book illustration project. This is fun. What I like to do is I will grab pictures from Pinterest and like just look at the outfits and then try and come up and draw it. Either come up with something new and use it as inspiration or I'll try and copy the outfit because I think it's cute and I like drawing characters and outfits. Here is part of me practicing drawing backgrounds with like a whole bunch of pictures or objects. I'm kind of sad that the, um, I don't know why, but the color pencil transferred over onto the other page. It was more background practice. I was uh, playing around with like character shapes in this side. I realized I have a very generally same kind of character shape and I thought it'd be fun to play around with different ones. Here's more like me finding an outfit I like on Pinterest and then trying to draw like a character in person that would go well with it. Here's a uh, Gilbert. Sorry, I don't know why I was blanking on his name. This is Gilbert. He is one of the main characters in the picture book I'm making. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character is the troop leader. She is just old and has jowls and she's, she's so tired, but she loves her group. She, she loves the scouts. And then here's Pip. She doesn't like being in the scouts. Her parents kind of forced her to do it because she's too independent and needs friends. Here's some more character work for the project me and Kira are working on, so I won't go into too many details about that. This is more work for that character designing, building design. Here is some character work. I needed to... I realized Pip, I hadn't drawn her mother yet, so I needed to make her mother. So she is tired. But still generally well dressed. This is the outfit I ended up going with. And then uh, this is more Maya's drawings. I was like, wanted to play around with her, the idea of her traveling and then and her, the different dreams she comes into. Her hair style changes. Some of them are more successful than others. I was trying to draw a star based outfit to go along with that idea. Here's a little. <laughs> I. I've been volunteering and there's a lot of kids around so sometimes I'll do like a little figure drawing 
of the people around me. This is another Pinterest outfit. Um, here's more character design work, and here's more Maya designing different hairdos for her. This was a 3D model, or at least designing for a 3D model. Oh, this one's fun. Uh, so I had... One of my projects for Illustration 4 was making this poster, and it's called... It's like generally the make an impact, have an impact poster, and all juniors do it, and so here's like a whole bunch of thumbnails I did of that. Here is the idea I went with. Here, I can show you the actual thing on screen. Here's more character design work for the project. Uh, I continuing on with the I need it to practice more buildings, so I just pulled more pictures off of Pinterest. These guys are fun. I was doing it like a little uh, interview work. I, like I was in a second round interview for a potential internship, and I played around with the idea of making some apparel with dinosaurs, but these seemed too character-like, so I went with strawberry and lemonade instead. Uh, here's some more figure drawing practice. I There was like a lot of people, and so I took the time to sketch them out real quickly. Yes, this is actually how one of the girls looked. I, that's not me making a character. Uh, more bean stuff. I this is one of my this was one of my homework projects. I had to play a game that I hadn't played before over the weekend and then like make a little analysis page of it. Playing around with making characters that were like round and bubbly, very round. This is probably one of my favorite spreads just because of like I don't know how the Maya's hair is really fun to draw, so I start with that, this one right here, and these two actually didn't get drawn until like a couple days ago. This was, this was an empty page for a bit. I was playing around with cat designs because I was watching my roommate's cat, Muta, and then I realized he was a rectangle. So I, I wanted to try and make that. This was the result of a social equity project. I I don't know how he came to be. He's just there, and he's having a good time. Here is character design work for uh, the teacher. She, uh, she is very tired. <laughs> uh, I was uh, sketching during, like, listening to a history, and... Uh, one of them was like more realistic study, and then we were looking at, uh, it was like this f layout of a church, and I was just like thinking to myself, I'm simply a genius designer. The church floor plan is shaped like the cross. A genius. <laughs> My teacher was going on and on about how like the uh, it was like an amazing design and like really good for the age and yeah, but then down to its very core, it was just a cross and I thought that was funny. Here are some like little thumbnails I was making for just a painting I was doing over spring break. I would show you a picture of it, but I actually don't have one, which is kind of silly, but I... Uh, I was in a restaurant, so I do what I always do when I'm looking for people to draw. I draw my dad, and then I car um, cartoonized him, and then I drew myself next to him to see how it would compare. I don't know. I thought it was fun. And here it begins. <laughs> my uh, Kira, my roommate, has gotten me absolutely obsessed with the linked universe, so I've been like reading the comic and reading little fan fictions for it and like I've made a couple pieces of art like I am really proud of this piece of time art that I made yesterday when I should have been doing essay work but that's okay we, we can sketch things uh 
this page isn't completely full, but I was I went over to a Red Wings game over spring break, and uh, yeah, it it's kind of hard to do figure drawings or like little gesture drawings of hockey players. You wouldn't have believed, but they kind of move a lot and fast. They're very fast. They don't hold positions very long, so it's kind of hard to draw them. But I think I did pretty good for like not practicing a bunch with like extreme that would be an extreme sport extreme gesture drawing I was doing some wild art or breath of the wild art yeah this this is just like a whole bunch of little story stuff oh she this is like the final design for the teacher she is uh she she's a little bit of style. She's tired, but no nonsense. And I drew her in different ages. So like, this is her middle aged, ish, like around forty five or so. Then this is her like in her twenties, like elementary school, and then like kindergarten age, and then super old. I I just think this is so cute. Like her just standing with her younger self. This is more of Link Universe art. Ah, and here's when I rediscovered charcoal pencil. Do not worry, I sprayed it. So hopefully it will not, hopefully it won't smear too bad. Like, like it's already smeared a little bit, but that's because I didn't spray it right away. So hopefully now that I've sprayed it, it should keep. Ah, uh, here's my project some project work for my final project in illustration for I am making a spread that for my portfolio slash demonstrating that I could make a picture book uh, we were watching the Puss in Boots movie for like the third time or at least for me it was the third time and so I wanted to draw my roommate's cat as like a little character in the universe Now here is my pride and pain. <laughs> I absolutely adore this page, but it took me forever because do you see all those little marks? All these little hatching? That's cross hatching and it's everywhere and it's all of them all of the time and it took me forever to do. I think that is the longest I've spent on any of the pages in here. This one didn't take me nearly as long. Figure drawing is pretty quick. I very much enjoy how that turned out. Here's more scene drawings. I was like grabbing stuff from Pinterest so like you might recognize this composition from like I think this one was a painting that I just did a sketch of and then this one was a picture. I was finding little outfits that I thought were cute and I was drawing them s myself in them. Uh, here's more scene work. I think, yeah, these were all photos that I did sketches of. And a tree. I did a tree study. He's very big, and he's very old, and he's... He took a bit. Here's, like, some scene design for, like, a specific animation. So I'm, like, designing the outside, the inside, the layout of the building... More inside stuff. And then I drew a... Uh, pothos. Yeah, uh, whatever. The, there's like this specific plant. It's... One of its names is like the money plant. I have one, so I drew one from memory. And I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Here is more... Uh, does, like thumbnail stuff for the... Uh, picture book page. This is the this is the one I ended up going with. And here's the final character design. She is absolutely adorable. I love her. These are her parents.
Yeah, we're getting close to the end. I was designing more. Uh, I found this like cute little top, so I drew myself in a, like a potential outfit that it could go with, and I was designing a little adventure outfit. And then this is Malone. All right, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing her name correctly. You can feel free to correct me in the comments if you know who the character is and know how to pronounce her name correctly. I just, I always read it and I never hear it told. Or I never hear it said. And then, final page. That's the end of the sketchbook. I'll see you in the next one. So I kind of realized how abrupt that ending was. If you liked my stuff, feel free to look at other videos on my page. I'm, I'm not pressuring you. You, you have free will. You can, you can choose what you want to do. I'm totally not suggesting that you should watch some more videos of mine. No, that that's not what I'm doing. Anyway, I hope your day is going well, and I hope it continues to be good, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.